in this video we are going to be talking about my experience with the giant mimic with the mimic kill token and how much gp i actually made and what you can possibly make within an hour so if you're excited for that make sure to stay tuned let's dive in For those who do not know, the Giant Mimic is considered a boss. It just doesn't count towards your collection log for all of the bosses. Now, to be able to take on the Giant Mimic, you will need the Mimic Kill Tokens. In order to obtain these, you can obtain them by just slaying creatures throughout Gilinor or just simply skilling. Eventually, one will pop into your inventory and you'll be able to use it to go and take out the Giant Mimic. Beyond that, you can easily buy these from the GE as well. Uh, if you're going for a bunch at once they are pretty pricey the buy limit is 500 but i would recommend doing 200 because you could get 200 of these done in an hour but they do sell slow buy-in at around 78,000 gp each as for the gear i'm running with the tier 90 death dealer set just so i can have that extra percentage chance to land a death mark after that we are running with the vampirism aura you want as much healing as possible even though this is a beginner boss after that, I have the max cape. I'm just trying other things other than having the Zuck cape on at all times. The max cape is the next plausible. After that, we have the blood amulet of fury, more healing, of course. I did bring the occultist ring just because I can gain as many necrosis stacks over time so I can use finger of death and make as many kills as possible within the test. After that, we have the Nexus to hold all of our Necromancy Ruins and the Ectoplasm. You're going to be using the Necroplasm here. That's it. No Ruins as long as you use the Reaver Bar I'm going to show you. We are going to be using the Tier 90 weapons. You don't need the Tier 95, so you can honestly get away with this with Tier 70s. It is a beginner boss. After that, we do have the Scripture of One God Book that is not activated. It is only in the pocket slot for the additional stat boost for Necromancy. Now for the inventory, you're going to need to bring your Mimic Kill Tokens because without those, you are not going to be able to face the boss. After that, I highly suggest bringing the Enhanced Excalibur if you have it unlocked because there's going to be times where you accidentally stand in the same spot and get hit with one of the mechanics where it chucks coins at you and it does do a lot of damage. So having an Enhanced Excalibur there to help you with the healing is a nice plus to have. You can even bring the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard if you would like, if you're using Soul Split, so you can also keep your prayer up along the way. As for the Reaver Bar, I'm running with Conjure Army, Soul Sap, Touch of Death, Sacrifice, and Divert, running only on the Reaver Bar, and then I manually input Finger of Death, Volley of Souls, Bloat, and the Tier 90 Spec. And this is why I brought the Occultist Ring, just so I can try to spam Finger of Death as much as possible, as long as I have the Necrosis Dex. As for the fight itself, we're going to be paying attention to three major mechanics a giant mimic does. The first mechanic we're going to go over is called charge. You'll be notified when the giant mimic is going to charge at you when it says the mimic prepares the charge. You will also notice that you'll have four green arrows pointing at your character on the ground. Simply just move out of the way because if you get hit, you also get stunned. Even though it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it's just annoying sometimes when you get stunned and you just can't keep doing damage to the giant mimic even though it is only a few second fight the next mechanic we're going to talk about is called coin launch you will be notified when it says the mimic launches gold coins at you this mechanic can deal a lot of damage if you don't move out of the way the giant mimic will launch three batches of gold coins at you dealing about 2400 hit points each time it hits you so if you're a lower level while doing this method, just be mindful and pay attention to all of the notifications that pop up. And if this one especially comes up, make sure you run from your spot. Now for the third mechanic, it is not in the beginner difficulties, but it is in the rest of the difficulties. I'm only bringing this to your attention in case you guys are trying the different difficulties and not get blindsided by this mechanic. So this mechanic is called leap. You'll be notified when it says the mimic leaps into the air. All you simply have to do is just move out of the way. The giant mimic is just going to leap into the air and land into the same position that you were standing when it leaped. But again, I'm going to be showing you my experience with the beginner difficulty to show you how much GP you can actually make by doing this method. So the fight itself is pretty simple, but after each time you kill the giant mimic, you're going to run back to the door, right click and restart fight. And then you're going to click the beginner difficulty over and over and over again all the way up until you've either had enough or you've hit your hour's worth. Now this is where it gets interesting because I was looking up on the wiki that it says you'll do about 100 of these in one hour. 
where I took 100 in thinking that it was going to be about one hour worth, I was completely wrong. It was only about 30 minutes. Now after collecting all 100 small loot chests, it was time to open them. And I will say, if you guys are big into Slayer and you're running low on VIP tickets, this is a method that you should be doing to get your VIP tickets because you get a buttload of them. Now, after opening all 100 chests, I got three scrimshots of aggression, three scrimshots of sacrifice, 26 Slayer VIP tickets, 12 Mimic Kill tokens, which are the ones that we just used, five Spirit Sapphires for summoning, 10 Uncut Emeralds, and 157,500 coins. Now, we have to remember that we would have spent 7.8 million GP to buy 100 Mimic Kill Tokens, which would bring our half an hour profit to 11 million GP, which equivalates to 22 million GP per hour, which is not bad for something as beginner friendly as this method. But that does come an end to this video. If you guys found anything interesting or useful within this method, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys are brand new to the channel and are interested in more money making methods like this or on the scaling aspect, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you guys know when I upload next. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See ya.